What is up, YouTubers, Losties, and Unrealers? Am I missing anyone? Welcome back to Let's Get Unreal. It's Brant, not Brent here, with another installment of my YouTube series where I'm recreating the island from Lost in Unreal Engine 5. So when we last left the island, if you can call it that at this point, we had traced an image of the island map using the landmass plugin and a bunch of splines. Today we are going to be adding the ocean and water system using a very special plugin called Fluid Flux. If anyone out there is following along and you don't have the Fluid Flux plugin, you could also use the built-in water plugin if you like, but know that you would have to start over at this point as the way the built-in plugin works is that you create the island inside of the ocean, whereas we did the opposite here and created the ocean outside of the island. It's a little difficult to explain, but once you try out the built-in water plugin, you'll see what I mean. Now I want to warn you all, the Fluid Flux plugin is expensive, so try to catch it on sale if you can. The reason why I went with the Fluid Flux plugin is because I felt that the built-in water plugin was too buggy and I wasn't happy with the results. Fluid Flux offers way more options and is much more refined. You'll see what I mean at the end of the video. Fluid Flux delivers a much higher quality of realism in my opinion and even comes with sound effects, water interaction, swimming, and much more. Setting up Fluid Flux can be a little difficult in the beginning though if you don't know what you're doing at first, but basically you have to add three different blueprints and connect them together to make everything work. Then you have to adjust the height of your landmass to match the water level in order to get everything looking the way you want it. There are plenty of other settings in the Fluid Flux plugin to play with such as the wave levels, length, size, and a whole lot more, but we'll be getting into that in a later video. One thing you need to remember though is to add a physics volume as well as adjust the size of fluid flux to match your island. That is something I'd figure out on my own and it slowed me down for almost two whole days. But for now, I'm happy with my ocean at this point. So let's go ahead and play the island for the first time so we can take in some of the sights and sounds of the fluid flux plugin and see the ocean in action. Okay guys, before I hit play, I wanna show you what the fluid flux plugin and ocean system looks like just in the editor mode. So take a look. You know, when I first saw this, this was one of the things that made me fall in love with Unreal Engine. It's just so incredibly lifelike and I was completely blown away by the way the water looked here. So now check it out when I hit the play button. All right, so I hit play and check this out, guys. So here's my first person character. And I mean, come on. Listen to the sound of the ocean, the sound of the waves. I mean, this takes it to the next level for sure. This is gonna be perfect for the island. Let's go check out the water. Listen to that. We got splashing interaction with the water. You can see the splashes. You can hear the splashes. And watch what happens when we go in further. The swimming, it's incredible. We're underwater. We're gonna be able to do underwater scenes with reefs, fish, Plane wreckage, who knows what else is gonna be under there. This just blows my mind. Wow. So there you have it. That's the Fluid Flux plugin for Unreal Engine 5. And I think one of the main pieces needed to bring the Lost Island to life inside of this incredible program. I know this video was a little bit shorter than the last, and that's because there was less backstory and history to tell. In the next video, I'll start adding some sand to the beach by painting the landscape, as well as maybe start working on some of the mountains in the background, as well as some other terrain elements. And as always, if you're enjoying these videos, please remember to like and subscribe, as well as feel free to comment on anything you would like me to add, or if you notice any mistakes I might have made. Thanks everybody for watching, and I'll see you next time here on Let's Get Unreal.